Well, it's no secret that it's important to us here at WJZ that we connect with your community, highlighting the everyday heroes who are doing work to make our city a better place. So we asked you to share your community MVPs with us. This week, Tori Smith was in Northeast Baltimore and has the story of Black Girls Cook, a nonprofit on a mission to inspire and empower girls of color through culinary arts and urban farming. Today we're going to be making a watermelon salad. We're going to use this cutout okay. to basically form circle. the circle. With Juneteenth coming up, we want to talk about how important it is to the culture, fried chicken and watermelon. We're going to take some of these ingredients and add them to your salad. Fried chicken was a means for financial freedom for black women. You're going to take a little handful and add it on top. You know, we get a lot of negative stereotype with watermelon, but it was a freedom food and was one of the first things that black people were able to sell as well. Tell me about your organization, Black Girls Cook. Black Girls Cook is a nonprofit organization. Basically, our mission is to inspire and motivate youth adolescent girls of color in the inner city by empowering them to use culinary and urban farming skills. Well, culinary arts is, to me is a very important skill. We don't get as many opportunities um, just in learning some of these skills. To us, our passion is cooking, so obviously with that being something that's important to learn growing up and it being a passion of ours, it's almost like, why not? Incorporating the urban farming also helps with making sure that you're paying attention to like the quality of ingredients and then teaching us how to use our own and grow our own ingredients and being self-sufficient. So many foods these days are processed and have so many uh, crazy like hormones and things like that. So knowing how to do it yourself, you're obviously cutting out the unknowns of what's being put into the food that you're growing and then ingesting into your body. A lot of our work is done through our six-week program. So it's uh, very much hands-on culinary instruction as well as the urban farming. So we're teaching with cooking classes, baking, uh, farming, and all those different things throughout the program. So you've been able to teach them new things in the kitchen and challenge them to try different things. But I know beyond that, with that relationship and the time that you're spending with them, it kind of develops into a mentoring role. Mm -hmm. How big of a component is that in this program? It's huge. I mean, that's what it really focuses on. It's part of the mission as a whole. I'm actually finding myself at home trying to figure out better ways to teach them or better ways to get their attention. And then I'm implementing those and it's actually working because they are asking for me to come back. Where can people learn more about Black Girls Cook and how can they support? You can uh, learn more about the organization on blackgirlscook.org, which is our website. We have a lot of different seasonings, a lot of merchandise, um, so they can support in, in a few different ways. And we know there are more community MVPs out there, and we want you to let us know who they are so that we can highlight all the great work that they're doing to make Baltimore City a better place. It's easy. Just head over to WJZ.com slash MVP, and then you can nominate your community MVP. I'm going to be on that website as soon as I can get to a computer where I oh, have Oh, I know. Yeah. Hopefully Tori learned something, too. He better be cooking in studio next week. When yeah, he comes in. for sure. <laughs>